if a guest says to Alina, oh, hey, there's um, the, sink, the sink's leaking. Um, can someone come out to fix this? Alina, was, Alina will respond to the guest saying, oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. I'll speak to the property manager and I'll come back to you shortly. And at which point, Hello Hosting notifies the, the property manager or, or, or owner and says that your attention is required. This is the conversation. Um, so uh, 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 there are points where Alina will jump in. Similarly, having a blast. Gonna get it on the Boosley podcast. Boosley like Bruce Lee, cause it's so hard and the T is loose leaf. Making up those rhymes, don't write it, just do it loosely. If you want my respect, you are better put direct. Mm. Here are the words in the podcast. That's what comes next. Welcome back to the Boostly podcast. This is the podcast that gives you the host of the tools, the tactics, the training, and most importantly, the confidence so you can go out there and get yourselves direct bookings. What we like to do on this Boostly podcast is we like to bring your attention to services, people, things within the industry that it will help your hospitality business. And one of the biggest things at the moment, and you're seeing it everywhere, is AI and how you can incorporate that within your hospitality business and how it can make things a lot easier for you, how it can make things smoother and ultimately give your guests a better experience. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. And we've got a very special guest joining us for this. We've got Clive, who's the founder of Hello Hosty. So Clive, welcome along. Hi, Liam. Thank you for having me. There's going to be people on here who have never heard of Hello Hosty. So before we we dive further in, what is Hello Hosty in like an elevator pitch style? Okay, so uh, to summarize, Hello Hosty, we have an AI concierge, Alina, which uh, can communicate with your guests, learns about your property and communicates with your guests, alleviating the necessity to be available 24-7 and supporting your guests in the best possible way in the most friendly uh, empathetic and informed way possible did, how did hello hosty come about how I, it always amazed me when i'm not a techie person so to see these new ai tools come around which are solving some of the biggest problems for us as hosts it always amazed me to, to find out how those problems came around and, and and how you solved them or how you've come up with a solution well, I've always been uh, a kind of techie person, but I've I've been working in uh, real estate, vacation rental, short-term rentals for about 14 years. So um, managing a lot of properties all around the world. And one challenge that we couldn't overcome and that was always present uh, is guest communications. That guests need, they need, I call it a digital hug. They need to know that you're there. They need information. Even if you've given them templates, guests want a human at the other end of, of the phone or of the app or whatever it is, however they're communicating with you. And they want to feel that they've got your attention, that you care for them. Hospitality is the whole nature of the business. And um, with this recent revelation in AI technology, um, in generative AI, we were able to build a product which could easily communicate with um, with easily communicate with your guests. So learn about your properties and in a very human manner with empathy, with reasoning, respond or generate responses to guest inquiries so i mean we we use it in our in our business and i've i've seen it i've seen it handle some really really interesting situations i've seen it talk guests through the process of topping up pressure in a boiler um i've i've seen really kind of interesting conversations that have gone down a really like uh i mean sending like love heart emojis and uh you know like the, the way that the 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 alina is able to communicate with guests is is phenomenal it's it it really is like a human communicating and with our with our product it's um it's possible with booking.com to put it onto auto as well so if a guest is uh like many guests that, that like to just communicate and just fire backwards and forwards continuously i mean we had a guest on sunday night just gone and the guest starts talking at 10.30 p.m. And I'm watching the conversation. I mean, I'll, we have a team that, that deal with uh, communication, but I'm watching the conversation. And this guest started talking at 10.30 and was asking like all kinds of questions. And Alina was responding. I went to sleep and I woke up the next morning and there'd been an exchange of about 20 messages between the guest and Alina all through the night, 2.30 a.m. And Alina responds within about two minutes. So this guest has got has fundamentally got uh, a, hosp a hospitality professional available to them 24 seven answering their questions. And we're not out to, to trick anyone, but the guest was completely unaware that this was uh, a, an AI that it was, that it was actually talking to. Let's talk more about how it actually works. What okay. from the host's point of view, 
would I need to do? So I'm, I'm a host myself. What do mm -hmm. I need to do to have that ability to be able to not worry about um, the guests communicating with me at 2 a.m. in the morning? Okay, so we basically built, we built this product with simplicity and ease in mind. It has to be, it had to be really, really easy for hosts to be able to sign up and just start using. So what we've, what we've done is we've kind of, uh, to, 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 Alina needs to have as much information as possible in order to be able to respond to guests. But to get that information from the host, we don't want to, we don't want hosts to have to spend hours and hours updating Alina. So, um, so our software can take information from booking.com, Airbnb, VRBO, can, it can it can gather all of that information. There's some information that the host will put into a profile for each property that they list on Hello Hosty. And we also, um, if a, if the host has a guidebook, amazing, fantastic, you can upload the guidebook. If you don't have a guidebook, if the host doesn't have a guidebook, um, we have a, a short questionnaire which can be filled out. We create uh, the guide digital guidebooks for uh, included within the price for the host. And then Alina will use all of the information which is in the guidebook, all of the information which was um, gathered from Airbnb, Booking.com and VRBO, and a couple of other small pieces of information regarding checkout and address and different things like this um, that the host would upload. And then answer the que any question relative to the information that's contained within those three areas of information, Alina will be able to respond to. Um, so from the host perspective, it's a really easy, fast uh, sign up. It's it's it. It would take roughly about five minutes to 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 create a property and get it and get it started. Is there any limitations around what it can and can't answer? You know, is there is there any times where it would need a human involved? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we have we have team uh, overseas that handle a lot of our communications, a, a lot of the admin in our business, and and Alina was basically modelled to be able to do what these guys can do. So. If there's if there's a maintenance issue, of course, I mean, a computer can't turn up and, and fix a leak in sync, or, or 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 likewise, it can't turn up with more towels. But what would happen in that scenario with our with our overseas team is that they would notify us that there's an issue. So if a guest says to Alina, "Oh, hey, there's um the sink the sink's leaking. Um, can someone come out to fix this?" Alina was, Alina will respond to the guest saying, "Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that." I'll speak to the property manager and I'll come back to you shortly. And at which point Hello Hosty notifies the, the property manager or, or, or owner and says that your attention is required. This is the conversation. Um, so at, 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 there are points where Alina will jump in. Similarly, if, if Alina doesn't have access to information. So for example, if the guests were to ask a question that wasn't included in any of those um, areas of information we discussed earlier, then then Alina would say to the guest, I don't have that information available right now. I'm going to check with the property manager and I'll come back to you shortly. And Hello Hosty would notify the property manager. What would you say to those hosts who are worried that AI doesn't sound very human and that they're concerned that their guests will pick up on the fact that is, is a robot they're talking to? I would say, well, I'd say a couple of things. First of all, I would say, try it out for yourself. We have, uh, with, with Hello Hosty, we have the option that, um, I mean, we have a free trial that so anyone can come and come and try it for free. Um, but we have the option to put Alina onto, uh, the default setting is not to be an automatic response. It, it suggests a response and you have a button to press send or edit. And then when you feel, I mean, when we first launched this product, I was the same. I was very nervous thinking, I don't want my guests to think they're communicating with a computer. So we we worked really hard, uh, myself and a, a team of um, prompt engineers, software developers, uh, an incredible team. We worked really hard preempting this kind of situation. We never want the guests to know because they don't need to know that it's a, an AI they're uh, that they're communicating with. However, when we when we first launched the product in its in its beta phase, I was and we were using it in our business. Uh, we I was very concerned that that this might actually happen, that, that the guest might figure out that it's AI. And um, so I was really nervous and I didn't allow Alina to go automatic to begin with. I, I was very, very reluctant. And then I was watching the response. I was like, this is pr pretty good. And then after a while, I was like, okay, so when the guest has arrived and they're inside the property, it's pretty safe that you know, they're already settled. They're not they're not going to be left out in the snow. They, they, they can get inside. Um, then I'll put it on auto. So then we, we started to put it on auto when the guest was inside. But now, as soon as a booking comes through, we press auto. Well, I mean, the responses, are, the responses are fantastic. And not once has a guest turned around to us and said, or 
I've said to Alina, are you AI? <laughs> are you a computer? Uh, th this is this has not happened. Um, it's quite incredible seeing reviews mentioning um, mentioning Alina's name now, which is oh, nice. uh, Alina was so helpful. <laughs> Alina was available whenever we needed anything. You know, like it's um, really quite quite uh, quite satisfying to see that being the case. Having a blast, gonna get it on the Bruce Lee podcast. Bruce Lee like Bruce Lee, cause it's so hard and the T is loose leaf. Making up those rhymes, don't write it, just do it loosely.